Okay. Let's have a seat. Megan's not dealing with everything that's happened too well. Oh, f someone broke into the car. And I really want to make her feel at home and like we're going to be able to get through this. So I have something planned for tonight. Got some good peanut butter. Got some bread. Are you hungry too? It's super important that I get through to Megan tonight because I'm about to start working and I'm going to be gone a lot. Megan's going to be here with nothing to do. She can't go anywhere. She can't get anything. I just want to make sure that she's going to be OK. And I want her to be able to feel confident and happy that this is her new home. You ready? My hands are clean, I promise. Oh, we don't know where the silverware is. You want to lick my fingers? <laughs> That's yours. In light of the past several days that have been horrible, uh, Josh surprised me with a peanut butter sandwich dinner with a candle, um, which was absolutely perfect. Josh has been really stressed too, I'm not the only one, and he starts his residency any day now, so he has a lot on his mind as well, and for him to go to all that trouble to plan that, I mean, that's just so sweet. He's the sweetest thing, I couldn't imagine my life without him. Well, thank you for doing this. It's the little things that matter. Megan, I'd like to propose a toast to taking change in stride, just dealing with it and getting through it. Megan actually ended up loving the dinner that I made for her, and that meant a lot to me. I love Megan so much, and the fact that she's here, she's having to endure all this because of me, it really makes me want to just make everything as easy as possible for her. I wasn't expecting this to be our first dinner in the apartment, but yeah. I'll never forget it. I love you. <laughs> me too. Josh surprised me with an amazing dinner, but at the same time, I'm still worried. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen with us. The next year is pretty much unknown to us. 